Well, here we are in Uganda. Man, what a place. What traffic. But why are we here? Well, it's a long story. We first heard about Finca's village banking program almost two years ago. Finca is the not-for-profit organization making small business loans to the poorest of the poor, women in third world countries like here in Uganda. This program is transforming the lives of hundreds of thousands of women around the world. But you know, it almost sounded too good to be true. Before we decided whether or not we would help support their work, we made the decision to go and see for ourselves what their village banking program was like in action. And that's why we're here, to see how it really works. Our first stop was their main branch in Kampala, a real bricks and mortar commitment. Finca runs their country operations from here. But most of the village banks they operate don't have these kind of facilities. They operate out in the countryside where the women live and work. So our next stop was to visit a typical village bank. We were going to attend one of their weekly meetings that they hold in their local marketplace. But on the way, we stopped to visit the home of a woman who had just taken out her first loan from Finca to start a small food court stall. As one of her 11 children told us, sorry, but mom's gone to work. So we went to visit her at the food court. Well, what passes for a food court here in Africa is pretty basic. Tin roofs, cheap picnic tables, and dirt floors. But I hear the food is pretty good. This woman used her loan to buy the pots and pans and table she needed to start this food stall. Before the loan, she had virtually nothing. But the other woman in the village bank recommended her to Finca, and now she has this little business. And I guess the food must be pretty good because the customers don't seem to mind the flies that also want to share the lunch. Her husband died and so did her sister. So she now has five kids of her own and six AIDS orphans. She believes this little business she started is going to help her buy the clothes and food she needs to raise her kids and hopefully pay the fees so some of them can go to school. And in the end, she's hoping that some of them will take care of her in her old age. Oh yeah? Well, that's what we're all looking for, isn't it? Our next stop was to visit a village bank that had been running for some time. The women here had gone through many loan cycles and had really established their little businesses. Every week, the women in the village bank meet with their local representative from Finca. Many of them are illiterate, but they are taught how to collect and count their money and put the necessary amount aside to pay back their loans with interest every week. Finca also teaches them to put some money aside as savings again every week. The clothes they were wearing and the expressions on their faces were so different from the first lady we had met. These women now had confidence. They were proud of what they had accomplished and they couldn't wait to show us what their businesses were like. The lady in the beautiful orange dress with the little helper in her shop, proudly displayed what her think alone had allowed her to do, to buy a used sewing machine. She bought used clothes in the market, then repaired them and expertly embroidered them for resale. Just beautiful. Our final stop was at the location where the original village bank in Uganda had been started. Rupert Schofield, one of the founders and now the CEO of Finca, was with us and many of the women who had been customers here for several years had turned out to meet him. Let me ask you, when was the last time you went to a bank and started dancing and cheering when the CEO arrived? It never happens back home, but here it's quite different. These women had lifted themselves out of abject poverty and were now running successful small businesses. Rupert was reminding them of the key to what made the whole program successful. Pay the loans back. That's the secret. And think the clients have been doing it at an astonishing rate of 98% or better. To me, this is the most compelling aspect of what Finca has done. They've created a way for donors like us in the West to provide the one thing that poor people have no access to in the third world capital, small amounts of loan capital to 
help them start their own businesses, their own solutions. And by getting the women to repay the money they use, our donations go round and round and are used over and over again by so many people. Now that is something to celebrate. You know, there's always one in every crowd. Giving people a chance to create their own solutions to poverty, to feed, clothe, and educate their families in a sustainable way. This is a cause worth supporting. Stinka, small loans, big changes. Boy, I'll say. <laughs>